Good afternoon, I'm Brian LaRose with VMware and this is a brief video on my upgrade process for the lab from vSphere 6.0 to vSphere 6.5, ESX 6.5 and to vCenter 6.5. So I hope you will enjoy the video. So today we're upgrading our lab environment from 6.0 of vSphere up to 6.5 and then vCenter 6.5. So the first step in this process is to take a USB memory stick, get our ISO loaded for the vSphere 6.5 bits, put the USB stick into our host machine, reboot boot from the USB device, and then follow the instructions that are going to be prompting you on screen and you'll want to select the upgrade option and preserve the VMFS data store. So once you're completed with that it takes about 30 minutes or so to complete that process depending upon the host speed. You will then uh, remove the media and the host will reboot. At that point in time you'll be able to go back to your Macintosh and this is why I'm so excited today to make this video is that Windows is not required in your installer. And this is the first version of VMware software that Windows is not required. So you'll download the CD-ROM ISO file. You will go in and you'll notice the VCSA UI installer directory. You'll notice there is a Mac directory here and yes indeed there is a GUI installer for the Macintosh operating environment and it will pop up on the screen you have to grant it permission to run in your environment and this is what that installer looks like so you're going to click you could click install you could click upgrade if you wanted to do an upgrade I'm really more of the cold install and remanage devices sort of person in the lab there are isolated incidents where you would need to do an upgrade but for today we're going to just demonstrate the Mac UI to do an install. Of course we're going to read all these terms and conditions and accept the license agreement. In my lab environment I'm going to use an embedded platform services controller. You may choose to use an external one if you are in a large environment but for our lab we're going to use the embedded one. And here is where I'm going to put in the IP address of our vCenter server. We're going to put in our password and this is the host which I am targeting to run the vCenter 6.5 bits. So this is asking us the certificate warning. I'm in a secure environment behind several firewalls and so I'm going to go ahead and accept this because there isn't a denial um, a hacker in the middle. Here I'm going to call this the VCSA 6.5 production and I'm going to enter the root password that I desire. There are some newer password requirements on the vCenter server so you will have to choose a more complicated root password than in years past but where I'm from that is a good thing it enables us to be a little bit more secure this is where you're going to need to choose which size you're going to deploy and I don't want you to get hung up on the number of vCPUs or memory but instead look at the host that you're going to be serving in my environment I'm using a a tiny uh, deployment size, two vCPUs and 10 gigabytes of memory. So that seems like that would be the right environment for me. Um, although I could go could go larger if needed. So follow the directions here. We'll just choose tiny for our example so that it'll go fast. You'll see here the different data stores that are available to do the install. This is my NAS device and then I've got a couple of data stores uh, that are available to me a SSD store and a SATA store and in this environment uh, 
then you're going to go through and select your network configurations again here this is going to be production VCSA 6.5 the IP address that I wish to give to the server subnet mask and the DNS server Invalid, fully qualified domain name. Ah, yes, of course. And, oops, I have to have a fully qualified domain name, which I do there so here we go so as you can see we're ready to kick off stage one which is going to target the 201 host with the production of a tiny install and there's the static IP so once again we're on a Macintosh doing an install of the environment and deploying the appliance. So through the magic of television, we're going to pause the video and come back when it is completed. And so here we are with the install checkbox stage one complete and we will click continue and this is where we enter stage two to set up the appliance itself. So we're going to synchronize with the host at this point. I like to enable SSH access in my environment. Some may not. Uh, the domain name for single sign on. And we are not going to join the customer improvement program. And there's the static IP, just a final review of everything that is here. Click finish. You're not going to be able to pause or stop it. And off it goes. So we will pause the video again and come back in just a few moments when this stage is complete. And so here we are successful with a green checkbox for phase two. And you'll note there are some URLs here describing uh, what the path is to reach the getting started and the WebSphere client page. So before we close that, let's go ahead and pop up uh, our browser and Let's go ahead and jump over to the client page. You're going to get the warning, of course, that this is a invalid certificate. We're going to go ahead and add the exception here, confirm it, and oops. So here we are, and of course we can log in uh, with our administrator. And our 
vCenter Server 6.5 environment is alive and running and it was installed from a Macintosh GUI installer. So congratulations to the VMware development team. You've done an amazing job on eliminating Windows from the installer path and really eliminating Windows from the data center requirements needed to have a vCenter environment up and running. I also want to point out that with this release we have an HTML5 client as well so this is the client you're familiar with I'm sure uh, of course we have the new I'm gonna go ahead and log out here and I want to show you that we have a new UI that's available. We're shipping with both UIs in this release, both the HTML5 user interface as well as the uh, Flash interface. So, let's see how the HTML I, HTML UI looks and here we go we're up and running uh, the URL for that is the vCenter IP with the slash UI after it so this is something that we've stated is going to be our direction going forward um, so we really recommend that you go ahead and get familiar with this environment and um, go ahead and get used to this environment because this is the direction we are going in the future this is a fresh install of my vCenter 6.5. I will have to go in now, of course, and add hosts to my environment. And I can go and do that and build back my host one by one, build it back to exactly what I had on the 6.0 release. So this concludes my Mac install for the vCenter 6.5 environment. And thank you for watching.